As we turn to our other big story now, the debate over tolls continues. House Democrats are now proposing their own plan for tolls here in Connecticut, but this one would only impact trucks. Channel 3's Evan Zamaris joins us live just off of 91 in Windsor now with a closer look at what this could mean for you. Good morning, Eva. Good morning to you both. This has been an ongoing discussion for years. Lawmakers have been working to come up with some sort of compromise. Now, it's been one of the longest running debates at the state capitol. What should be done about tolls? During his campaign, Governor Ned Lamont proposed only tolling trucks, but later changed it to both cars and trucks, saying the revenue from trucks wouldn't be enough. The governor's latest plan includes 14 bridge tolls on both cars and trucks, but there has been some pushback from Republicans and some Democrats. House Democrats are now unveiling their own plan to toll only trucks on 12 bridges, which is estimated to generate $150 million annually. They feel trucks cause most of the damage on our roads and bridges, and this is a fair way to get money to repair the damage. They do 80 percent of the damage. That's the reality. Trucks do 80 percent of the damage and they pay nothing in Connecticut. That has to change. As for Republicans, they're putting forth their own plan. It doesn't include tolls, but it does rain. The state budget reserve more than 60 percent of the rainy day fund. The GOP responded to the House Democrats' plan. The Senate Minority Leader fears this is the first step to eventually tolling cars. Now, Governor Ned Lamont says he's not on board with the Republicans' plan, but he does feel this needs to be an ongoing discussion. Live in Windsor this morning, I'm Evan Zamaris, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.